Hi, in this lesson we're going to talk about one of the most important libraries that we have in the Ruby language called date and time. So with those libraries we can manage dates, times in our Ruby programs. So let's get into it. So let's first talk about the date library. This date library is is for create dates. Its name says everything. But now let's learn how to create a date instance in our programs. So we are going to work in this lesson inside of the IOB console. So get in your IOB console, and here I'm going to create date. We create date object just instantiating the class date and okay but before we need to require those libraries okay so we're going to require date and we are going to require time that's it now we can create a date object date.new okay so here we have a, our date instance and we can see those funny numbers right here uh, we do not need to understand them right now but what we can do is to see what we can do with dates so if we want to create a specific date we just create a date the new and here we we give the the date we want to 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 create we are going to create 2014 2014 April 3 okay we have here and uh, now you can see that this is the date however this is not a very readable way of show a date that's how Ruby understands it but we need to, to show it in a better way so we have the strf time function. This well, this method helps us to give format to the dates and when we want to print them. So let's say I'm going to print put day.strf time. I'm going to send here the format I want. I want to make it and I'm going to explain later. So we're going to print the slash month slash year okay so here we have a very readable way of show the dates if we want to print them uh, we have several options in the strf time up function we can also print the the month in a, in a name format okay we have here April 3 2014 okay so this fun this method strf time has several options we can print here if you want to to see what you can do with, with these functions and not even this function we can see everything all the methods we have with date objects refer to the documentation of the date class we have here several options uh, let's search for str app time we have here str app time uh, here it says the description of the function and how to use it the different options we have here as you can see whether it was passing by the function and everything so don't forget to give it a look and see everything you can do and let us know in the comments what you could learn new functions you can learn and we will be glad to hear from you well now that we have a date variable with a real date let's see some of the most common functions you will find in the documentation so the first thing we can get only the day we can get only the die this is the date die 
Uh, here we have the die. We can check if the date falls in a certain day, for example, Friday. So we can say day that Friday and it returns false because the date's not Friday. Sunday maybe. Okay. Maybe Monday. Okay, so the date is not Friday, Sunday, neither Monday. But with this function you can check if, which die is the die the date. Uh, we can also get the month only. Okay, month. We can check which day of the week is this date. Start from from zero for Sunday and one for Monday and so on. We die. So this is the die four. It means it is Monday, Tuesday. This it is as as Thursday. Okay. Other thing we can do is, for example get the year of the, of the date I mean the the die of the year this date represents so make your day so we can see this is the die 93 of the year okay we can also get the year only 2014 okay well we have more methods we can use and don't forget to take documentation. In many cases we will need convert strings into dates. I mean create a day from string. So we have a method called parse and we can convert from we can convert string into a date object. So we will need these a lot in our Ruby programs maybe when you input the date or something so let's create the same date using string okay this is a date string and we I mean uh, we converted using parse parse function and we have the same date using parse from string okay Another very interesting thing of Ruby is that we can add and subtract and subtract uh, dates. We can know how many dice there, there, there are between two dates. So let's see how it works. I'm going to create a date one. It's going to be date the new. Something 14, 4, 3. I'm going to create a date two. Date new 2014 4 and 5 day, day 5 okay so let's see how many dies there are between the two dates so date 2 minus date 1 as you can see we can see here day 2 is two dies from uh, is two dies more than date 1 and so this means they have two dates difference. If this is very confusing for you, you can convert this to integer. So let's see how it works. So here we have um, converted to integer. So we can get the number. Okay, so here is the difference between both dates. Now let's talk about the class time. It is very similar to date. For create a, a date using the time class, we make the same. We create let's create a variable called time. Let's say time dot new. When we create a new instance of the time class, we get the current time in the computer. As you can see, this is running at 2015 six I mean month six and day twelve. It is. 17 zero six 48 with 48 seconds and we are exact with the time of the, the Greenwich Meridian uh, this is because we are working in a remote 
on a remote workspace so we'll get to the time of that computer not the com our computer okay don't worry about it so we have here the, the current time in the in this computer that is the computer of the workspace we we have a sign c9.io okay and we can use a lot of functions to this time object so for example we have the str time for time for time too uh, but we let it to you as an exercise to, to test it and same as with dates we can also add and, subs and subtract times so for example let's see how many say oh okay there is a difference um, when we sub subtract dates or add dates we get the difference in seconds between one date and, on and another unlike unlike dates that we ha we get the dice in the difference so so let's say time that new time the new minus the time variable we created so let's see how many seconds has passed um when, since we create this variable until now so we can see it has passed 137 seconds dot 4 so refer to the documentation of the time library the, you can see all the methods we can use with the time objects and uh, let us know in the comments which methods you could uh, learn new methods you could learn it will be great okay so we are we are back in our workspace so let's practice new methods using the documentation and let us know in the comments in the next lesson we are going to talk about the IO class we are going to learn how through the IO class we can read and write files with Ruby if you like this video don't forget to give us a like right below this video there is a like button click it and as always don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Bastion Blandia if you have some questions or everything you can reach me in Twitter you can reach us also in, in as race karate in Twitter, we are also on Facebook, Race Karate. Mm, go to racekarate.com where you will find the transcript of this video. And as always, thanks for subscribing to our channel. We're making amazing content. So, see you next lesson.